Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what is database backup and how many types of backups available in SQL Server. First of all, uh, being a primary DBA database backup goes back to um, saving your data from disasters. It could be a software disaster, it could be hardware disaster, or it could be natural disaster. One of the primary job of DBA is to protect your data. So when we talk about backing up the data, that is a mechanism that is uh, available in SQL Server to back, to save that data, to protect that data. And um, we will talk about that, how we can back that database up. And in case any disaster happen, whether it's natural software or hardware uh, disaster, one of the primary job of DBA is to have that database recoverable to have that database available for the business to run uh, if such thing happens. And in order to uh, do that, in order to fulfill the duty of uh, uh, DBA, w the mechanism we use in SQL Server is called database backup. So there are three types in SQL Server uh, backups available. One is full backup, number two differential backup, and number three transactional log backup. So let's talk a little uh, about each. So full backup is when you, when we talk about uh, taking a full backup of a database, we are backing up the database schema, everything, uh, entire database. So all the changes, uh, all the schema changes, all the data that's uh, available in that database uh, goes in full backup. So once we ta take the full backup, the whole database can be recovered using that full backup. So the other uh, type of uh, backup is differential backup. Uh, differential backup is basically uh, if, you, if your database is small and you're taking uh, every day a full backup, we'll talk about more in detail when we talk about the recovery uh, of the database and restore options of the database and your strategy uh, much more detail. But uh, basically what happened is when you take full backup and after the full backup, let's say your database is really big and you can't afford to take the full backup every day or every three hours or every hour because you run out of space, it takes a long time to back up your database. So that's when we talk about uh, having other options of backups. And one of the other option is differential backup. So differential backup is uh, only the changes from the last full backup to the differential backup time, any changes that happen in your data, in your database, that'll be backed up in differential backup type. So when we talk about the full backup from last full backup, that becomes the base of differential backup is also known as any backup that is uh, um, uh, the last full backup uh, and then differential backup, the last full backup, it becomes the base of differential backup so any changes that happen from last full backup to the time that you uh, selected for the differential backup when you, when differential backup happen on that particular database it saves only the changes uh, from last full backup uh, uh, to the uh, differential backup time and the next type we have is transactional log backup so it is very important to save your transactions um, sometimes in some scenarios Full backup and differential backups are the only backups that you can, you know, it, it'll do the job. But that's not really uh, uh, in many cases of big organization. In big organizations, you have to basically take full backup, differential backup, and transactional log backup all together in order to provide the recovery of your database and loss of your data minimal. So the transactional log backup is any transaction we define intervals in transactional log backup. Let's say that you have uh, backing up your transactions in 10 minutes interval. Every 10 minutes your transactional log backup happens. So what it does back behind the scene in all the transactions that happen in between that 10 minutes, it's going to back that up. And it also transactional log backup is uh, serial and it has when you restore the uh, transaction, they needs to be all the transactional log backup needs to be intact in order for us to successfully restore the database. So let's take one example of uh, a database backup where we need to 
do the full backup, differential backup, and transactional log backup. So uh, I have a database that is 200 gig. So what I do is in my strategy, I take every night a full backup. That means I'm backing up everything um, and uh, that backup can be used to restore the database to that particular time when you're taking the full backup, which is at night. So from uh, midnight to six o'clock, you have differential backup. Any changes happen between uh, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, that is going to be kept in differential backup. So 6 a.m. we did the differential backup, all the changes we uh, uh, did from full backup to differential backup, they will be saved in differential backup and they can be recoverable. Again, the reason we are doing that because full backup of 200 gig database, if we take every six hours, it's going to uh, be a little bit issue for us. First of all, it's, it takes a long time to take full backup. Number two, that we might run into space issue, the disk space issue, because we're taking the full backup of that uh, 200 gig database. So differential backups usually are very, um, since they are just the um, uh, integral changes, that's why they are not as big as full backup. So the size of the differential backup is uh, reduced a lot. Uh, and the next thing that we wanted to do is, let's say that we have the differential backup every every three hours. And now between one differential backup to the next differential backup, we have to have a mechanism to basically save our data, protect our data from uh, uh, data loss. So we have a option called transactional log backup. So what we do is we start transactional log backup every 15 minutes uh, in my strategy. Let's say that I have uh, every 10 minutes or 15 minutes, uh, I do the transactional log backup. So all the changes happen from the differential backup to the next transactional log backup. It's going to uh, um, be backed up in that particular transactional log backup. And then once that happened, the next transactional log happens that would be between transaction A, that um, backup, and transaction B, backup all the transactions that's happened, all the changes that happened in your database will be basically in your transactional log backup. And now, let's a little bit talk about quickly that uh, let's say that we have a disaster um, that happened um, at 630. So what we can do in order to restore that, we can restore full backup that will give us uh, 12 uh, a.m. Um, all the data until 12 a.m. And then we can go ahead and restore the differential backup that will give us all the data till 6 o'clock. Now between 6 and 630, all the data we need to be recovered. But if you don't have transaction log backup, then your data loss will be 30 minutes because only thing that you have up here, only backup you have is differential backup. So the transaction log backup that we do every 15 minutes, we have two transaction log backups which we can restore the first transaction and leave our database in restore mode and then uh, restore the last transaction which is 630 transaction log backup and uh, restore that backup and bring our database online. So this is just a quick uh, 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 scenario that where we need to have full backup, differential backup and transaction log backup. We'll be doing the live demo, how to take full backup, differential and transaction log and we'll be discussing much more uh, into detail of these uh, back, backup, backup options. So stay tuned and we'll be doing the live demo. I hope it helps.